Okay, so let's take a look at how you can get the OR data feed into Power BI and we will be able to see how that data can be manipulated and we can create auto report out of that. Right, so basically OR data is open data protocol and it's used for RESTful API. Right, if you go to official site, you will find that has this sample service section right where you can find the referral URLs so there is one right which would be small data right like five entries also and if you check the bigger one which is Northwind you can find larger data right which we will take right Alternatively, we can also take a look at some of the other URLs, right? So let's see. Okay, now what we can do is open Power BI Cloud and when we sign in, it should open our dashboard. Now let's go to create, then check for files. As you can see, it's not a downloadable file it's a service right so this is the URL so what we have to do is we have option to use Power BI desktop so we will go for that simply type in Power BI and here you see the Power BI desktop interface so we'll have to use get data option for importing that right so click on get data right now here we will have to check for O data so we use O data feed select this and then connect now here we will have to choose basic option give it URL so for URL we will check for this right and then push for that now once you put the url click ok if there are any errors you can find it giving you this particular icon you can simply shift to read only database in version 3 now here you can see that your o data feed has anonymous access option where you have to choose the default level and click on connect if it gives you error you can switch that level right now here you have tons of data to check from right category of sales for 1997 categories then product lists customer supply by cities, customer demographic, customers, employees, invoices, right? And then orders, right? Order details, right? Then extends, then regions, shippers, right? Suppliers, territories. So we'll pick the most required, then we'll click on load. now that it will be loaded here we want to publish this content and then process it for cloud so that you can see how you can take the data from your power bi desktop to cloud version right so here as you can see you have the data uploaded simply click on publish save the changes to file that says oda feed and let it get published simply use my workspace select it will be published to your workspace and it will say success 
right because it has managed to pull up the data now it can easily process it on cloud now what we can do is on cloud we'll have to refresh this let it load and get the new data so we have your workspace here you see Odafit data set and default report so if we go to Odafit here you see we have our data set and I want to visualize this data so whatever the fields that we have captured I want to create auto create report out of that so click on create report and then it should generate some report for you right so based on all that data it has managed to capture some data right so cities then regions and also the freight used right so title of cut c some of right so the data has been captured using few of these tables as you can see and we can experiment with that and use as we please so this was just a demo for you to check you can try out any other audit url and get the data to your desktop first and then upload that data from the desktop to your cloud by publishing it and if you don't want simply go to browse and let's say within your workspace you want to remove something simply delete it and click on delete refresh everything's gone from your cloud account right if you want to delete the current set of report and data set you can do so as well so this was just an example for you to show so for you to check out how to import your own data feed into power bi cloud and desktop so let me repeat the process first thing that you do is you need our data feed url right so we'll copy that right so something like that you can take this from odata.org then you go to your get data option then you will search for odata right simply type in odata and you will get that odata feed then click connect use basic option check for older version so that it gets accepted click ok and here you will have to check for tables so depending on the connection type it will take a bit longer once it generates that data you will have to select the tables then load it and it should appear like this on the right hand side and load this data it will appear in these right hand side fields right then simply you can publish it take it to cloud and then auto create reports based on that data right so this was kind of a uh, recap for what we have done in the process for our uh, data import from our data feed source one more thing is that in case of our data feed you can uh, add this within this copy paste table type format also you won't be able to add within a web url like let's say if you want to get some web data right and it will ask you to get a data feed through url let's say this it won't be able to process this properly it will give you error so if you are trying to do something like that you will have to use the data feed connector and you can find that through your get data and more and within that you will have to check for all data here 
O data, right? So O data and O data feed connect, and then this is where you pick the connection, right? And as you can see, version four seems to be giving me error, so I'll use the URL with version three, and it should navigate to that particular query and fetch those tables. So if you're trying for something like that. I would recommend you to avoid any other connector and stick to OData feed for importing OData 